Hi all, it's Barb. Welcome to my craft studio. I have a haul today. It's kind of crafty and organizational. I'll be right back. to Target and Michael's. I stopped at Dollar Tree, but I didn't find anything at Dollar Tree that I was looking for. It's the first time I'd been there in a while. I was kind of hoping maybe since I hadn't been in a while, I'd find more. But at Target, I bought these. They're bright room trays. You get three of them for $2. Um, I'm pretty sure they fit in like the Michael's um, Lexington cart because there's a bright room cart that's the same size so I want to use these I switched one of my carts over in the bedroom to hold cat food we had it in this great big it used to be an old council TV and it was changed into a storage unit and when I rearranged the room I um, wanted to get rid of that so that there was less in there so I said, I'm going to bring a card in and see about using put or cat food in that. So it better work because the garbage went took the other thing to, oops, it's cat food. We don't need to share the cat food. Oops, and one more thing that needs to go in the fridge. Good thing I went through that now. That's all that's in that one. And then at Michael's, today they had, they are doing their lowest prices of the season. I feel like I should go, lowest prices of the season. Um, the photo boxes, I wonder how big are these, 11.2 by 7.8 by 4.5. I was hoping, I know the 11.2 is this way, this must be the 5 and a half. Is this the 7 and a half? Hmm. The 4 and a half, 7.8. Maybe I'll have to test it. I was wondering if maybe I could make even 5x7 photos in here. I didn't buy these for that purpose. This is just for sorting my mother-in-law's pictures out. That's my task for my GOC this time. I bought two in mint and two in pink. And then I picked up a couple more Cricut Joy clearance. Items. Now last week, I do not remember seeing the orange, but they had it this week, so I picked up the true orange. It's even called orange. It's um, removable vinyl. So. And then, I don't think I had this one. It's the Romantics sampler. The cards are Midnight Blue, Khaki, and Tulip, and the inserts are Burnt Red, Deep Teal, and Maroon. I like the colors in that one, so I picked it up. I probably would have picked up more of those, but I was buying some frames. Um, this one's a 16 by 20. I'm hoping that the diamond dot picture that I'm working on, that's going to go to my daughter. If I ever finish that, I haven't worked on it in probably six months. I need to get back in the grooves and we'll get that. But I mainly picked it up because the frames were buy one, get one free. And I needed the this one. I think it's 11 and a, 11 and three quarters by 36. I thought when I measured the poster, I wrote down 12, but I think the 11 and three quarters will do it. I bought a Game of Thrones poster a few years ago, I think, at um, Hobby Lobby on clearance. And 
now that I've rearranged the room and painted the bedroom, I want to get that poster hung up, so I needed to buy a frame to put it in. So that's that. Yep, that's just the other pink one. So that's all I purchased. Um, so I'm do it on time. I the 12 week GOC that I'm unofficially the host that I'm hosting. Tiffany has sanctioned it. Tiffany actually is the one who suggested that I host one because people were asking about one. She goes, if Barb would like to put together one, that would be fine. So I did. She even did a shout out on her Tuesday Live for it. Um, I'm doing it in both the Get Organized with Totally Tiffany group and then in my Facebook group, which is Barb's Craft Studio. I've got an event in there that I'm doing. I'm just doing posts in both groups. Um, the advantage to my group is I can pin the homework post at the top of the event and then I do daily reminders and they'll be at an event for each week so if you're even if you wanted you could go back you know and look at those past ones and be able to see the homework easier um, I always suggest if it's your first time through a Tiffany um, challenge that you do week one first that one is definitely necessary because that teaches you the system the four section system and then she always does paper second and I think the best part about doing paper second is the second week is the first week you sort anything paper is quicker to see your progress on <laughs> I mean especially since she has you put it into a space where that's all you have is your organized paper so you can see the results and I think it also gives you a really good feel for the sorting and you know the first week you create like a themes list and that may change as you go through because you may have said oh I don't really have any of this one or oh I have a lot of this and I didn't include it or whatever but your themes really are supposed to be thing, the subjects you craft around. So I might try to do a vlog post all about the first week tomorrow. I was hoping to do that Monday and I didn't get it done. But I'm hoping this week maybe to do a project share video too because I actually have gotten a few things done and I've got a, another project cut out and I'm hoping to get that put, assembled in the next day or two. I'm trying to get back into cleaning. I've got to give Hubby the list I wrote up for him of what I want him to clean. He said he would help, so <laughs> I'm taking him at his word. So I kind of wrote down the two, the hardest rooms for me to clean. I was going to say two, but really it's three because there's two bathrooms. Other bathrooms in the kitchen. The wet rooms take more physical effort to clean, and I have a hard time with strength and fatigue and having to use strength makes me fatigue quicker quicker so um, I, I have those two rooms on his list and then I have his room that he spends time in and I put the stairs on his room he's always sending outside stuff so I don't have to add that on the list but and I kind of made a little note by the kitchen and baths that I want I want them at a minimum of every other week every week would be nice but I'd settle for every other week and I've told him if he doesn't step up, the crafting's going to have to go. But I'm hoping he, he, he said he will. And he, he is very good about helping if I ask. I told him I don't want to have to ask. Because having to remind him all the time to do that, well, you feel a little, a little bit like you're a nag. And also... chips away at your self-esteem when you have a chronic illness to have to constantly ask for that help and I know he doesn't do that intentionally he just he just doesn't think about it and I said and I said I know I don't clean my rooms as good as I should especially if the fatigue kicks in it doesn't get done um, I said but I said I really don't want to give up the crafting because it it makes me 
happier and easier to live with. <laughs> That's kind of what I said. I really would, and I've, I've kind of hinted at with them that I would really like to, if we could figure out a way to do it, take my craft room and move it down into the living room and dining room so that I could put... The dining room would have to have one area that has my kitchen appliances in it because my kitchen, my kitchen is super tiny. Those things will not fit in there. So I'd have to have one wall that was reserved for those. So I'd want to make, maybe make that my sewing area, put all my, my stand-up table and a table to actually just sew at. So maybe plan. Maybe I could put my planning stuff there too and just plant, do my planning. And you know, when I want to sew, I could just take move the planner off to the side or something. Um, he thinks the hat press looks neat. So do I. I. I also think the mug press looks neat, but I told him I'm unsure about those, not just because of the cost, because I think I could, I think I could budget them in if I watched what I was spending on other things. But if I did it, I would want a sublimation printer. And that's where the problem comes is there's no place for me to put another printer. <laughs> I have my 12 by 12 one that I definitely want to keep. And then I'd want to have a sublimation printer. Um, we have another printer for everyday use. And that one I did manage to move into his man cave. It was in our master bedroom. And I said, I'd like to move that out of there too, if I could. He said, would you be okay with putting it in the man cave? He's like, that's fine. He goes, then I just don't have to get up. <laughs> I don't have to go that far when I print something. I said, yeah, I said, so I think I'll do that. And we managed to get that over there, the two of us. Um, he he moved printer because I was moving it to bed. He goes, I can carry that. So right now I'm just putting it on the bed. I'm not carrying it. I'm just moving it from here to there. So it's just barely moving it. <laughs> I said, when it's ready to go over, once we get the other part in that it, the, that it sits on, you can carry the printer into the because it's a big printer. Um, but, and I'm thinking that's probably going to have to be replaced someday. It's been giving me some issues with the cartridges not wanting to register, and I think it's the printer, not the cartridge. So we'll we'll see how that goes. It is. Not sure how old it is, but it's an older printer. It's the one I've had the longest. So we'll see how that goes. But I'm trying to think what else I'm doing. I was really hoping at Dollar Tree to find I've seen people share some cute summary things that could go on like a three tiered tray and my store just did not have any. Maybe they got them in, in the weeks that I wasn't going and they sold out. But they didn't have it. they didn't have any at this time, anyways. Hopefully, I've got enough for my tr my summer that I can use for a, the summer theme tray. Otherwise, I should take a look at Michaels sometime or Hobby Lobby just for little things that can sit on a tray that are summery. I do think I'm going to try my father-in-law years and years ago had cut these for me for what I was using, put my paper in at the time. Like it goes too far back if I could just have something to keep the things from going back that far. So he made me these to set back behind them. And I don't use them for that anymore. So I'm thinking about, I asked Hubby if he had a little sander and he does, making like a little book tray for summer with these. I got to get his sander and sand the edges off because they're kind of rough right now. I should look out at my father-in-law's and see if he has any other little chunks of wood out in his, what well, used to be his work shed, his woodworking shed, because I would like a bunch more like that so that I could do some, do ones for every season, paint them, and then put some saying or graphic on. One thing I'd seen somebody do was and I didn't buy it. I I can I seriously considered the We Are Memory Keepers print maker on craft day. If you've bought that, let me know in the comments how it works. At this point, it'll be a long time before I buy it because it's back up to regular price now, and I ain't spent spending that on it. But it was down to like one twenty on craft day, which 
it's a bundle so it's usually like 266 I know you can buy just the printer cheaper than that but it comes with extra stuff on HSN I seen somebody take these wooden blocks and use that printmaker and put a little saying on it so well, that would be cute and it can be a little bit more you know I know they have a lot of stuff that you can use with it or you can upload your own images to it and use it so we'll see it's still on my someday list maybe but I don't know that I'll ever get it but it it really appeals to me I love printers labelers <laughs> I have a problem when it comes to things like that, organizational tools, but um, like I said, I really would like to move my stuff so that the dining room could kind of be my sewing area and the living room could be my paper crafting area and I wouldn't feel so closed in. If we could get a couple of recliners to, br to bring upstairs, we could have our TV watching room up here. Which we were doing before in his man cave. And, but the couch we have in there is a cheap little Ikea one. And with my hip pain, I'm like, I can't, I can't sit on this anymore. It, it's making everything worse. And it did get much better once I started going downstairs and sitting in our... We have a reclining... It's like a sofa. It's... It's got like two chairs with a council in the middle and it's all attached and our stairs take a 90 degree turn so I don't think there's any way to get it upstairs. Otherwise I would just say let's bring one of them upstairs and get rid of the other one. <laughs> but I hate to flat out ask because I know it's it's a big ask to totally leave up the living and dining room. But we don't really use them that much. Otherwise, I wouldn't even consider asking, especially if we could make this room into a TV viewing room. We'd be okay with that. But anyways, that's what I've got to share today. I kind of did a little more chit-chat than normal in my haul videos. But I hope you enjoyed seeing what I bought at Michael's and Target. And I'll catch you next time.